Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me in my basement warehouse. I have this basement underneath my house and this is the warehouse I use to store all of my eBay inventory. So I'm gonna bring you along on this journey today. We are schlepping it, we are moving things around and I am trying to start a new experiment whether or not I can fit 8,000 items in my basement. Presently, I have about 5,000, which translates to 3,500 listings on eBay and storage for other arenas of where I sell. I sell on local platforms, and I've recently started putting some of my items in a consignment store. But my idea is to take everything from the storage inventory room upstairs, which is one of my bedrooms, and incorporate that along with growing my store. So today I'm going to take you along this crazy process to show you how I like to store my items and to try to figure out how I'm going to reconfigure the space to incorporate an additional 3,000 items. So follow along, hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see whether this experiment turns out to be successful or a big womp womp, big fail. So thanks again and stay tuned. I'm going to show you my basement in four quadrants. This quadrant is where I keep all of my shipping materials that back up my supplies upstairs. I keep shipping materials in my uh, photography studio in the break front, which I've shown you, and I also keep quite a bit of supplies in my office. I like to have a lot of supplies on hand. So it's real important for me to have this amount of backup. Besides, in another quadrant, I have built boxes. I'll show you that later. But for now, I'm gonna show you the basement in quadrants and talk about what it presently houses and what I hope to turn it into. So like I said, this is all my shipping supplies and I also keep my shoes. As you can see, I have these rolling racks. They roll out from the wall. Many of you have seen this on Instagram and um, on prior videos, and I actually picked these up in a thrift store for $25 a piece. I've labeled them so I know exactly where everything is, and this system is gonna stay right here. I love this system. As you can see, I have like men's shoes on this rolling rack, the lace-ups are this way, loafers this way, and eventually I hope to label all of these by size and brand. Right now they are not labeled, but because they're in these clear poly bags, I'm able to see what the item is fairly easily. Now, right now, I have three light bulbs above me that I've shut out for filming, but when I turn these on, it's very bright down here and I'm able to find things easily. So that's what this first quadrant is. Let's move over to the second quadrant and I'll talk about that. So the first area that I'm gonna show you that houses my inventory concerning hard goods is on this side. Now this is really more than a quarter of the basement, but I call it quadrants because that's how I've separated it in my mind. When I decided to have a warehouse, I had two options. I could rent a warehouse off-site or I could have it in a basement. And I always knew that I wanted it in the basement. So this area is my hard goods area. This will find some changes. Right now, these three shelves form a U. I picked up these shelves here, the gray ones on OfferUp, and I've picked up these silver ones from a company called California Classics. They're in California, and I believe I had, I think, 16 of these delivered. They were a little more expensive than the box stores because they were a custom size. They are 60 inches wide, where most of the shelving you find in the big box stores, I believe, is 48. So you'll see, I'll talk more about that later, but uh, California Classics was a wonderful company to deal with, and they delivered 16 of these shelves, and I hired a friend to put them together for me. So the shelving works out great because it's all on wheels. Everything is movable. Whenever I configure a space like this, I want my walls to be able to move and the parameters to be able to change. So my hopes for this area is to maybe make the shelves a little less high because you can see there's a lot of wasted space from the top of the hard good item to the beginning of the next shelf. So I might purchase more shelves and add it to the same unit or just build 
something up. I have to figure that out to be able to fit a second row. That will almost double my space in this area here. But as you can see, I've loosely labeled all of my shelving so I find everything easily. This is my wood shelf. These are trays, china dishes. I know my bottom um, shelf is Pottery Barn and on and on figurines you can see right now this is a little bit um a little bit messy but once this project is done we should be in great shape in the middle of this quadrant i have a table this table is projects that i'm working on or i'm looking for a piece so like these bottles here are i believe these are vintage milk bottles and they will be going to amy's store i thought these were great and i have had them in ebay store but local pickup is not working on this product, so I know to uh, put them into consignment. The lamps that I've picked up, um, I'm currently working on finding the proper shade for the lamp so that I can sell the, the lamp with the shade. This guy is ready to go, this guy is ready to go, and this one is ready to go. They're all listed on eBay. Underneath is just a hodgepodge that needs to be cleaned up. I think there's good storage capability under there, but right now it's a catch-all for anything big that I don't want taking up that much room on the shelving behind me. So as you can see, I've just been kind of throwing things under there. It still works, but it's not the same process. This back corner of the basement is kind of a hodgepodge and it's not really working for me right now. On this side, I have a shelf that's become a catch-all. These are larger items, odd items, ceramic dogs and chickens, chandelier parts, all craziness. I know where everything is, but I don't think this is the best use of space. I'm hoping to have the result of the experiment able to house more, a lot more inventory on these shelves. So all of this is probably going to be moved. Over in the middle of the, um, this area, I have two round racks, which I own three. One is presently empty. Makes me so happy. Uh, this is coats. So this is all women's jackets, which this rack is greatly depleted. I have been selling jackets like crazy. Really, really great. Happy with that. And these racks can probably hold between, I'm going to say, 50 and 75 jackets. I love these racks. Again, I got them in a thrift store, and they're on wheels. We all know I love my wheels. So I keep this covered with just a, a heavy gauge drop cloth plastic, and that keeps everything really dust-free and clean. Guys, I treat this warehouse space like my regular house. I dust, I wash floors, I spray for bugs, I run a dehumidifier, I run a fan. Yes, as you all know, I'm crazy about keeping things really organized to make it really nice for the customer. So all of these jackets and coats are kept under plastic and they're regularly aired out. I'll bring a fan over to circulate the air uh, to make sure everything stays really nice. This rack back here are the men's jackets, same thing as the women's, makes it easy to find and I could probably fit four times on each rack what I have now. This system is working but I don't know that I like these racks where they are so these might be moving. Right now I'm just forming like ideas in my head how to change things around to maximize space. It's not one of my strong points in life. I'm spatially challenged, <laughs> if that's a term. I find it very hard to picture um, where things go. Like, like people, there are people that can just put furniture into a room and it looks gorgeous. I stand there with a the couch going, which wall should the couch be on? Same thing down here. So it's gonna take me a couple of tries, but I am really excited about growing in 2020 and just having all of my inventory kept in the basement. Okay, so I just wanted to mention we have a second shelf back here. This is my pointer because I'm a teacher um, that houses a lot of odd things. Again, dolls, which I say I never pick up. So you're seeing that. Yeah, I lied. I have one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, and a whole box of them. I have a lot of dolls. I probably have about 12 dolls up there. Uh, wicker baskets. Pretty much the only baskets I pick up, a longer burger, and there's another brand. I can't remember the name. They're all sold. And just bigger hand-knitted blankets, quilts, those type of things. And this last rack are long coats. And look at this, guys. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I only have nine left. I must have had 
I'm going to say about 60. So um, for people that don't pick up coats, I get it if you're shopping in the bins, coats are very heavy. But if you can get a coat, an overcoat for 10 or $12 or under, it's always a win for me. As long as they're good quality, I go for cashmere, vintage, wool, fur collars, um, anything mid-century modern, of course, you know, a fur collar on like a lamb's wool. Yes, say yes to coats. And this is where I has them, again, under plastic. This side are double shelves. So you see the shelf here, there's another one on its back. This is the central wall of this quadrant or dividing the basement lengthwise in half. This is where I keep a lot of sporting bags, uh, rolled wallpaper, different things in rolls, maps, posters, anything that is rolled. You can see magazines, more figurines. I know where everything is. So this area I'm fairly happy with. I find things right away. It's all of my bigger things. And what else do I have here? Different items that maybe I shouldn't have put. Speakers and um, I will put golf clubs in this box over here. This is golf clubs and bats, which I have sold through a huge amount of golf clubs this summer. I'm gonna guess probably over a hundred golf clubs. And this shelf down here is my kind of miscellaneous shelf. Not like all the other shelves weren't, but this is true miscellaneous. So if the camera can pan down here, you'll see I have ephemera, small books, more small books, DVDs and CDs, and my phone cases, which are almost empty. Again, I've sold probably over 100 phone cases this year, so that was um, a win-win for me. And this is the size bin that I picked up the other day in Target. This is a little bit small. Again, you see the wasted space. So I might have to rethink this, either return these bins, I bought 12 of them, and get the next size up, which this is the size that I like. You have plenty of room for your hands, so you're not banging your hands. And yeah, so this one shelf I'm happy with, this shelf is staying. So if you hear a motor, my neighbor is mowing the lawn. I hope he comes over and mows mine too. And this back quadrant is available. Very excited for this quadrant. I think this is where I'm going to keep inventory that is listed, that is waiting to be packed down. I might set up a table and put a TV down here and have this be my area where the hundreds of items that wait to be packed, yep, hundreds sometimes I get backed up, will come down to this quarter of the basement and, or maybe it's a little bit less than a quarter and get processed. Very excited for that. You can see I have a lot of empty space on these shelves. I will probably, I'm going to guess, take all of this shelving out. So this one and this one and maybe get a third one and put those in a different area and this will be racks of clothing with a table, folding table and all the things I need, polys and all of those, not polys, ziplocs uh, to be able to fold down. So if you scan over this way, this back here is another dead corner. I have space here, which is very exciting. And this, if the camera wants to pan all the way around, is my clothing section. This takes up more than a quadrant. I'm going to say a little bit more. So my daughter Lisa is filming this. Thank you, Lee. And we've decided she needs to have a hat that has a ring lamp attached to it, kind of like a ring headlamp. And that way she can just follow me around and we don't have to keep switching the lighting around. Do you want to show everybody what lighting we're using today? And just give a pan, just do a 360. <laughs> so for those of you who want to see the behind the scenes this is a little shot. Yep, you got to carry all of this downstairs to be able to film because the basement is a little bit on the dark side. And I use a lot of lighting down here because you have to be able to really have your warehouse well lit. Okay, having said all of that as usual, this is my clothing storage system. It works perfectly. I love this system. These shelves are on wheels. I can move these babies around wherever I want. I actually configured it this way after you guys helped me uh, figure out to get the best space and thumbs up, 
Great job, guys. It was a great help, and I love the shelving back to back. So I separate by item type, skirts, sweaters. These are all my women's jackets, so blazers, things like that, indoor jackets, I'm going to call this. Tops and vests are in here, this whole shelf. Each of these units hold 12 bins, and they're the large bins. I forget how many gallons they are, but they're the big ones. This is another odd rack. It's a miscellaneous, so I have things like bras and bustiers, track suits, activewear, everything that doesn't need a whole wall is put here. I even keep a little sheet, if you want to zoom in on this, of what is stored here. So if anybody else needs to ship out for me, they can easily find items. These are my dresses. And this corner is quite dark right now. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. This shelf I might be doing away with. These are women's jeans. No, I'm not saying women's jeans don't sell for all of you. I've had a hard time with women's jeans, and I'm not a fan of women's jeans. I sell a ton of men's jeans, but I am paring down. I have stopped picking up women's jeans pretty much all together. Even when I find a phenomenal brand, I'm very hesitant to pick it up. So um, that's what goes on on that side. This is a new space right here created. I did have other storage uh, bins here and my boxes are now under the stairs. So this is the last area I'll show. It is the other side of that wall, the double wall that comes down the middle of the basement. This is all my men's clothing. I love, 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 triple love selling men's clothing. If I could sell just one thing, it would be men's clothing. I don't know if it's because it's you know newer than the women's clothing category for me. Women's clothing I've been selling uh, for about six years now, and men's probably about two or three years, and I'm really enjoying it. So this wall is staying, but follow along as I switch things around. Feel free to give any kind of comments. I love your ideas. I love when you guys chime in and say, hey, you should put this over here or whatever. I'm never offended. I always love the advice. And stay tuned for if I can fit 8,000 items in my basement. So on an end note, I'd like to give a shout out to Pro Solo Flipper. I follow him on Instagram. He doesn't know who I am, but he and his wife recently bought a new house with a basement. He looked at the options of renting a warehouse space compared to actually selling his home and buying a home with a basement. So hello there. <laughs> you don't know me, but go you. I think it's fantastic. Congratulations. I will link his Instagram down below. I think he might have a YouTube channel too. I think he's just a kindred spirit in this eBay crazy journey, and I wanted to give him that shout out. So I'm looking forward to following his journey of storing his great inventory in his new basement. So congratulations again, and go over and give him a follow, and I will talk to you guys soon. Go out and get what's yours. Bye, guys. So this is the crazy back bedroom. This is where all of the inventory comes in to be folded down. And this is my biggest nemesis. Now, this is not a death pile. This is a life pile. This is all listed waiting to be folded down, but I've gotten tired of having it in a back bedroom. I really want to incorporate this into my warehouse and I have the space. So as you can see, many of you will recognize these items as recent items that I've videoed about and they are listed on eBay. They've come in to these shelves. I have a couple of racks of clothing and I would really like to turn this room maybe into a guest room or and I don't know room. I might even put my office back here. I'm not quite sure about that. So um, follow me along with that fun craziness. But for now, I wanted to give you a real life glimpse of a reseller house who has 3,500 items. And I am hoping to have this room go downstairs into the warehouse. And if you pan this way a little bit, you can see always racks of clothing. Presently, I own, I think, six of these type of racks, and I'm gonna be using the rack system for the heavier items down in the basement. 
And I also have this system, which I love. I bought this from uh, Lisa, my daughter, when she was moving, and I thought this was just gonna be kind of like, you know, a temporary, I really like this system. This is like skirts and the shorter pieces. And again, waiting to be folded into poly. So if anybody wants to come and hang out with me and have a folding party, that would be lovely. <laughs> but um, yeah, just keeping it real, this is my back room and hopefully this will turn into a guest room but um just wanted to show this keeping it real and very excited for this new change really looking forward to 2020 being an all-time high so looking at my numbers for this quarter even with the ebay fiasco seller update i will still outsell what i sold last quarter very excited to keep growing on ebay and thanks so much for following please hit that like and subscribe button and i will talk to you soon bye guys mm -hmm.